Oh my goodness, should we get a Balinese pedicure? <laughs> I've heard about this before. Let's do it, come on. Oh, New Zealand native Janine Hall is walking away from a career in fashion to open a surf and yoga retreat for women in Bali. I'm comfortable with the element of risk that comes with because I really, really believe in it. With her sister Annie in tow, it's time to get serious. Oh, they're... Oh, my goodness, they're hurting towards my feet. <laughs> with a quick fish pedicure and a decision. All right, sis, we need to talk business. <laughs> it's hard to concentrate with these fish. At $95,000 a year, House One sounds like a slam dunk. Under budget, on the beach, and only 15 minutes outside of Seminyak. Yeah, I'd love to wake up to this every morning. But the low price tag carries a big lease commitment. In 40 years, I don't know if I'll be alive. <laughs> House Two eases the commitment on the lease, but at $180,000 a year, it's a high-end option far from town. You know, that'll be something that we have to take into consideration as well. Yeah. Though this seaside villa is an absolute stunner. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Can we do the rest of the tour from here? Yeah. <laughs> Another short-term option, House 3, is in the heart of Seminyak and has all the rooms Janine needs. I mean, oh, it yeah. says yoga all over it. Yeah, this is great. But it's not on the beach, and at a budget-busting $220,000 a year, can Janine afford the risk? I would have to spend a bit of money getting a lot of the furnishings. So we need to eliminate the defects. Mm. Which one out of the three are you not leaning towards as much? Well, I think that 40 year lease kind of cancels it out. The budget's fine, but over a 40-year period, that would be almost impossible from a cash flow perspective. So we're left with the modern villa yeah. and the Seminyak centre. What was your favourite? Overall, I thought the modern beach house was really nice. It's got different places that you could do yoga or you could have massages. But it's away from the shopping of Seminyak. I think my gut's telling me the Seminyak central you know, yoga place. The um, proximity to Seminyak and also near the beach was great. So it is out of budget and also there would be a bit of upfront investment in terms of uh, fixtures and the fitting. But I think generally from when first going in, it just felt right. You and know what? Being you sound here. pretty set on the house. <laughs> Have we made a decision? <laughs> yep. We've made a decision. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, let's do let's it. celebrate by getting our feet eaten by fish. Confident she has enough saved up, Janine opts for house three and is even able to negotiate the price down to $200,000 a year. Can we try one of these? I didn't know a soul on the island when I moved here, but it's been fantastic. I call it the Bali honeymoon and I keep wondering when I'm gonna snap out of it. Definitely felt like I made the right decision with the villa. I think because it's so fit for purpose of what we need with the yoga studio, the spa treatment room, that all the rooms are of a similar size. Good morning, ladies. How are we today? Everyone's feeling vibrant and fresh. I was always told to follow your passion. Um, and that's what I've done. So my passion is my business. So it's been really humbling to see the growth that's happened. We have just started going into co-ed retreats where we welcome men as well as women, although the heart of what we do is women-only retreats. So guys, thanks for coming. It's really nice to see everyone. And um, we've got food over there, so help yourself and yeah, enjoy. <laughs> It took me four years to go from the dream of this to the reality. Come on, get up! <laughs> and, you know, I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's a great feeling. <laughs>